goal was to make our way upriver on a remote tributary covering roughly 12 to 14 miles over three days. This section of river has no trail and no roads anywhere near it, with most of it flowing through a designated wilderness area. Over the years, we have bushwhacked into sections of it and done day trips, but never walked the entire canyon stretch. My brother Adam and I were excited about this adventure. We had been planning to do it for about 15 years. Having fished it in the past, we knew that there were some decent trout in some of the pools. So the goal was to throw streamers and dry flies and see what we could find. As we made our way up the canyon, the air of remoteness and isolation slowly started to set in. You don't notice it right away because you are distracted by the fishing, but slowly you start to become more aware of the lack of human presence. You start to become in tune with the wild place you are in. After a long day of fishing and canyon trekking, we found a nice little beach to set up our camp. It was time to get into some dry clothes and settle in for the night. I was thinking about this recently, about on one of our last trips, about just like stopping and breathing, mm -hmm. and how just you know we live in such crazy times and such busy world and all that kind of stuff. Like just doing things like this and then just stopping and taking a breath. Like I mean, you know, there's all the activities we did today, which was pretty amazing. But then like <laughs> just stopping and taking a breath and how 
absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I realized that, you know, it's it's the thing I crave the most because I think it it helps to shed all that thing. And I was like, oh right, it's just mental health. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the you know. Yeah. I don't know. I've talked about this a few times about just like being surrounded by the color green and how calming it can be. Mm -hmm. But I also think there's just like you're also surrounded by a bunch of things that are giving off pure oxygen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. jam mm-hmm then it flattens out but then I think there's a pretty big pool after that mm -hmm. that's where I thought we were gonna camp tonight but, mm -hmm. but that's okay this does not suck <laughs> mm -mm. this is pretty great slept as well as one can sleep out under the stars in an unfamiliar landscape and headed out the next morning looking to cover some ground. Directly ahead of us lay a massive half mile long log jam that we needed to navigate. It was likely caused by a huge landslide in the not too distant past. We were able to take a small side channel and miss most of it, which saved us a lot of time.
Yeah, I think it's an up and over. It's going to be tricky. <laughs> well, I'll, let me get over there. <laughs> Are you going to go up and over? Having done this section in the past, we knew that there was one spot that was just a little too deep to wade with the backpacks and camera gear. We brought a small raft to help us navigate it, and in no time we were continuing our trip upriver. The goal was to make up for some lost time and work our way through the last section with fewer fishing stops. Throughout the trip thus far, we had caught countless rainbows, and a few cutthroat, and even gotten our streamer chased by what looked to be a sizable bull trout. I was trying to think of a word that could be used to describe the adventure up to that point, and I asked Adam what he thought. We both came up with magical. I think I would add epic to the mix as well. It's hard to put into perspective just what it was like to be on a trip like this. You shed the security of a known path and take it one step at a time. Now that I think of it, life is like that sometimes.
How do you tell the story about a trip that was 15 years in the making? How do you express just how amazing it was? How do you film something like this and truly capture the moment? I don't know that I did, but I hope everyone enjoyed the adventure and thank you for being here. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for coming along for the journey. Cheers. <laughs>